Alright, so I'm going to tell you guys how to get 100% completion in DDLC Plus. The first thing you should do is complete your pictures gallery. I already made a video on how to do that. So if your pictures gallery is incomplete, a link should appear on your screen right now to my earlier video. So do that first, complete your images gallery, and then come back here because it's imperative you do that first. Now if you go to settings, you can see how much completion you have. It shows here I have 99% completion. It is glitched for some people and it might show you a value over 100, but that's a glitch. Anyway, I want to draw your attention to this table, which is from the official DDLC wiki, linked to the page in the description. You need to go and open each one of these files listed on the list and let's start with the first one note insecure directory the file path is it's in internal and you can find it there and now let's open it the next one is meeting notes 1.txt which is in backup You also need to open test.txt, which is right here. Then you can go to the system folder and open tower keys. These files didn't require you to change the time on your system. But if you look at this table, you'll see the next one, meeting notes 3txt which is located at internal. First go to the internal folder. then 0, then 3, then 0. If you try to open it, you'll get this message because if you look back at the table, you'll see that the required access time for this is 158. So you need to change the time on your system, whether it's a computer or a console, to 158. It can be either AM or PM. And once you've done that, it'll let you open this file. So I've changed the time and now I can open it. Refer to the table to open the other files in the same manner. You can skip to the next part. There should be timestamps in the comments. But otherwise I'm going to walk you through this. Next is internal 4 0 4 ddlc.txt. Again if you look at the table the time needs to be set to 12.55. So I'm going to change the time. And now I can open it. So do the same for the other files. The next one is track 6 nameideas.txt. Internal 1, 2, 3. And again, I need to change the time to open it. The time needs to be changed to 4.30. And what happened here is I changed the time to 4.30, but then my computer went one minute ahead, and then it got changed to 4.31. So if you're on a console and it takes some time for you to exit the game and change the time, you might want to set the times to one or two minutes before, so that doesn't end up happening to you. Anyway, I changed it back to 4.30, now I can open this. The next one is meeting notes 2txt internal 1, 3, zero time needs to be set to 915 it can be a.m. or p.m. that doesn't matter but it should be 915 The next one is projectplan.txt internal 2, 2, 1. And the time needs to be changed to 240.
The next one is mes.txt. Add internal. Three, three. Sorry, uh, sorry, I messed up here. It's at internal. Three, four, four. So change the time to eight thirty-three. And again, the same thing happened. My computer went one minute ahead. So I changed the time back to 8.33. Next one is 14.txt, which is at internal 5, 0, 1. And you need to change the time to 2.14 for this. The last two you don't need to change the time for. Open poemwords.txt, which is in the game folder, and open attributions.txt, which you can see the moment you open files. So the files part is done. Now go open the music box and play the song Candy Hearts completely. I'm going to speed it up a little. And I've actually muted the actual song for the purposes of this video. Some people say you might have to play it a few times, but I only needed to play it once for this part. Once the track is done, close the music box. And you'll find that there is a new track. There's one called Candy Hearts, and there's one called Candy Hearts, but with a Z. What you want to do is play the track called Candy Hearts with a Z. Yeah, so play that. And once again, I'm going to fast forward this a bit. And with that, you should be done. Go to mail and you'll find a new mail from Paula, which says, let's move on. If you don't get this mail, try resetting DDLC, not the game DDLC plus, but DDLC by going to files and using the reset application. With that, your data collection should be at 100%, which I'm showing here, but you're not done yet. Go to side stories and there will be a new side story called test VM. Click on that and if you're playing on Steam you'll get the achievement for completing 100% of DDLC. And this will run for about 20 seconds but that's it. So yeah with that done you have now completed DDLC and you have 100% data collection. So congratulations on being the game. Thanks for watching this guide, do leave a comment, do leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more DDLC Plus content. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. And that's it for now.